I put Brave and Firefox head to head to compare speed, privacy, and features. I've been using Brave for the past few months, but I decided to test Firefox for the last seven days to see if I could make the switch. So I was an avid Chrome user for years. Chrome is often seen as the default web browser or the right web browser to use. It was to the point that every time I got a new computer, I would install Chrome as the very first task and not think twice about it. But as the years went on, I started thinking about privacy. Google isn't exactly known for protecting user data. In fact, they're kind of in the business of collecting user data. This is what they do with services like Google Search, Gmail, and Google Maps. They're collecting user data and demographic information so they can serve targeted ads to users. I realized I was voluntarily feeding all my browsing data to Google. So a few months ago, I made the switch to Brave. Brave is well known for its commitment to privacy and it's similar to Chrome. Because of this, I didn't have much trouble switching, but then I started to wonder about other privacy focused browsers. Firefox is used by millions of users and it's well known for its commitment to privacy. So I wanted to know if it might be better than Brave. Both Firefox and Brave have a very similar appearance. We are in an era where all web browsers kind of look the same, but this is especially true for Firefox and Brave. In fact, upon downloading Firefox, I kind of felt like I hadn't switched web browsers. This could be because is the CEO and co-founder of Brave is also the former CEO and co-founder of Mozilla, the parent company of Firefox. Both Firefox and Brave have an emphasis on privacy, but I do feel that Firefox has the upper hand since it's not based on Chromium. Both browsers offer built-in tracker blockers, but Brave offers a built-in ad blocker. On Firefox, you'll have to use a third-party extension to block ads. I used AdGuard when I used Google Chrome, and it's also available on Firefox. It works great and it's totally free. There's no pushy upsells trying to get you to upgrade to some premium version. And speaking of extensions, this is where I thought I wouldn't be able to use Firefox. In order to understand why, I need to back up and explain how extensions work in other browsers. The majority of web browsers like Chrome, Edge, Brave, and Opera use an open source web engine called Chromium. Chromium is developed by Google and was originally created for Google Chrome. Since then, Google has allowed other developers to use Chromium to make their own web browsers. Since so many web browsers use Chromium, developers create extensions to work on Chromium. In other words, they can develop one extension that will work on Chrome, Edge, Brave, Opera, and all Chromium browsers. The main two browsers that offer proprietary web engines are Firefox and Safari. So in order for an extension to work on Firefox, it has to be coded from scratch for Firefox specifically. So because of this, many developers are choosing to opt out of developing an extension just for Firefox when they could instead develop one extension that's gonna work on the majority of browsers. I use quite a few Chrome extensions in Brave, and when I tested Safari, I was missing a lot of the core extensions that I need to be able to use a web browser. I was worried this would be the same case in Firefox, but I was pleasantly surprised to find quite a few extensions. All the core extensions that I need, like 1Password, Rakuten, Honey, vidIQ, TubeBuddy, and Grammarly were all available in Firefox. Some of my nice to have extensions like Unsplash Instant or Loyalty Reward Shopping extensions are not available in Firefox. But I will say that Firefox has all of the extensions I need in a web browser. It is missing some of the extensions I want, but I could survive indefinitely in Firefox with the extensions that they offer and I wouldn't have have any problems. But what about speed and functionality? How do these compare in Brave and Firefox? When I initially downloaded Firefox, I felt like it was generally sluggish. But then I decided to do some side-by-side -side tests with Brave and Firefox, where I would visit the same websites back to back. And when I did this, it felt like Firefox was snappier. I wanted a more scientific answer, so I decided to run some speed tests on browserbench.org, and these revealed that Brave is, in fact, the faster browser. Firefox did score slightly better and graphics rendering, but Brave was way faster when it came to everything else. The speed of both browsers did feel pretty comparable in my day-to-day -day testing, but one thing I did notice was the accuracy of loading pages. 
I had some times in Firefox where a page would just load funny or something would be broken and I couldn't click on something. And then I would go load that same page in Brave and it worked perfectly every time. This is because web pages are all gonna be optimized for Chromium since that's the majority of web browsers. So sometimes you're gonna come across pages that just don't load right in Firefox. By far, the most significant aspect of both Brave and Firefox is privacy. If you're putting these two browsers up against each other, chances are you want to know which one is gonna protect your data best. Both Brave and Firefox offer built-in tracker blockers, but Brave has the advantage of a built-in ad blocker. Firefox does offer this Facebook container, which loads Facebook in a completely isolated instance of Firefox. This way, it's impossible for Facebook to track you with your browsing activity in Firefox, and I think this is a cool feature and I wish Brave offered it. I'm a little bit confused as to why Firefox doesn't offer these containers for any website, because if I'm gonna visit Twitter or another social media site, there's no container and those sites are still gonna be able to track me across my browsing data. Both Brave and Firefox have a strong public mission to protect user data, but I do feel that Firefox has the advantage so long as they maintain their own web engine. Brave is clearly passionate about user privacy, and you can see this when you read their website site, but I just have a hard time getting past the fact that it's a Chromium browser. Let's remember that Chromium is an open source platform offered by Google, and Google is in the business of data collection. They offer other open source platforms like Android so that people might use their products and services like Google Search, Google Maps, and Gmail, and it's all so they can collect user data and target ads to users. So I feel like Firefox protects user data better, but it's ultimately going to come down to your personal opinion and which browser you trust most. Now, what about standout features? The extra features in a browser that makes it unique. Firefox is honestly a pretty plain browser. They do have a few extra features like a built-in password manager, syncing data between devices, and picture-in-picture -picture when playing videos. Brave, however, has a lot of extra features to enhance the browsing experience. The native profiles feature is something that I use all the time. You can have a profile for work and a profile for personal use to keep your bookmarks, browsing data, and logins completely separate. Firefox does offer profiles, but it's a hidden feature that you have to enable in settings, and once you enable it, there's no way to easily switch between profiles. There is a third-party extension to help with this, but if you're on Mac, you have to download third-party software just for the extension to work. The software runs in the background on your Mac, and this is not something that I wanted to do, so I'll just have to live without profiles in Firefox. Brave also has an emphasis on crypto and Web3. They have a built-in crypto wallet and native support for Web3 domains. I was able to get Web3 domains to load in Firefox with a third-party extension, and the extension worked pretty well. Brave Rewards is a way to earn BAT or basic attention token through viewing non-invasive ads. These ads are opt-in only, but if you do choose to enable them, you can cash out your BAT for cash, gift cards, or other crypto. It's clear that Brave is the better browsing experience all around. It's got the most extensions available since it's based on Chromium, and websites load faster and are more optimized. Brave has the most extra features and is a very innovative browser. Firefox feels pretty stale. They haven't added many new features over the years, and honestly, I worry that developers are going to start optimizing for Chromium and building extensions for Chromium and just forget about Firefox altogether. Unfortunately, I think proprietary web engines like Firefox are a dying breed. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a day where Firefox implements Chromium and waves their white flag and decides it's easier to use the standard web engine than continue to develop their own. So is there any reason to use Firefox? Well, sure, if you're trying to avoid a Chromium browser, Firefox is an easy choice. And if you're on Windows, Firefox is basically the only choice. Firefox does have an impressive amount of extensions. So if they have the extensions you're looking for and you're not interested in the flashy new features offered in a browser like Brave, you should feel right at home in Firefox. But if you want the smoothest, most reliable web browsing experience, you'll want to stick with Brave. Brave is just like Chrome, but with extra privacy-friendly features built in. 
Personally, I'm gonna stick with Brave because it's clear to me that the internet just works best on Chromium. I wanted to like Firefox enough to make the switch. I expected that the lack of extensions is what would keep me away, but honestly, I was surprised to see that all the extensions I needed were available in Firefox. So it wasn't the browser extensions that kept me away, it was actually the speed and reliability of loading pages. But I fully acknowledge that I'm choosing to use Chromium, a Google software, just to get the most reliable and polished experience. I could use Firefox to avoid Chromium, but right now that's not a trade-off I'm willing to make. You might be asking, if Brave is so similar to Chrome, why not just use Chrome? Well, I have an entire video on that here.